All right, guys, we're back at it with another Arbitrum ecosystem update. Uh, today, I'm coming at you with a very dapper look. Uh, no reason, I just wanted to kind of dress up today. Uh, but before we get into it, as usual, uh, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. And of course, everything that I do talk about today is my opinion and my opinion alone. That being said, let's jump right into it. A couple of cool things that are coming out of the ecosystem, uh, I guess technically yesterday. Uh, first is Camelot. Camelot says, we're taking the castle into orbit. We are excited to announce our upcoming deployment on the Zai Games Layer 3. This marks a significant partnership with the Zai Gaming ecosystem and establishes Camelot as the leading liquidity solution for Arbitrum Orbit Chains. Uh, so a couple things here to break down. First of all, if you don't know, Camelot is a Arbitrum native uh, decentralized exchange, or DEX for short. Um, they've been deployed on Arbitrum for a while and their native token is uh, called Grail. You may know them, you may, you may know them by, by the token. Uh, Camelot has been obviously Arbitrum aligned for a while. So it's cool to see them actually taking their first step into saying, hey, like we're not only are we going to be um, Arbitrum native to the Arbitrum 1 blockchain, but we're also going to start deploying from what it looks like on Arbitrum Orbit chains, which are essentially uh, other Arbitrum chains that exist or that are going to exist. Um, and many of you know Orbit chains are just essentially kind of like a framework or a stack for people to set up and deploy their own Arbitrum uh, chains or networks. So uh, Camelot doing this, I think, is a, uh, is a really, really cool move. Um, probably it's it's kind of a funny. I don't think I've seen any other decks kind of take this strategic step um, for any other ecosystem thus far. I think maybe Velodrome has done it for Optimism and uh, kind of their their kind of uh, I should say kind of network of chains. But um, that being said, yeah, I think Camelot going towards this direction is actually a really really interesting idea and cool move uh, by by both teams. So shout out to Camelot, shout out to the Zai team as well. Uh, both really really cool uh, people and of course uh, teams on the Arbitrum uh, ecosystem. Next, I wanted to highlight uh, the knowers, uh, or essentially, um, essentially the knowers for again not invested into this technically. I, I do, I do actually have a couple of knowers, um, so I guess technically I am. But you know, any, anyways, I, I'm not making any money from this. This isn't sponsored or whatever. Again, not financial advice. But I wanted to highlight this because uh, the knowers uh, essentially yesterday were trending on OpenSea, uh, and you have the founder. I, I think uh, uh, Keycas is Key. Uh, sorry if I said your name wrong, bro. But uh, I'm going to say Kikaz for now. Uh, Kikaz said that he was very honored and, you know, said that we're all going to make it. Um, I wanted to highlight this today just because it's so cool to me to see Arbitrum projects kind of making it on the top list, uh, you know, whether it be um, on OpenSea or even any other generic platform that kind of combines all the different networks. Because, you know, it, it's, it means a lot to really appear on, like, the top lists or the trending, whatever it may be, on these different kind of apps, you know, including Deck Screener and, and OpenSea in this case. So these guys are literally sitting right below D Gods and above Mutant Apes, which is insane. Um, so, you know, I, and I think this may have something to do with them kind of announcing like the uh, no token. Um, I think I think this said something about airdropping it to the people holding the PFTs. Again, not financial advice, not saying you guys should buy it or, or otherwise. Um, but I just figured, you know, like why not kind of shout these guys out? Uh, they've been killing it in the ecosystem so far, and a lot of people have been, uh, you know, gravitating towards what these guys are doing. They're kind of trying to brand themselves as like the D gods of the Arbitrum ecosystem, I think, uh, which I think is also kind of cool as well. Um, but yeah, that, that way, uh, like I said, shout out to uh, K Kaz and the rest of the Noah's community. I uh, love seeing new PFP products kind of popping in and really, uh, you know, making making waves. I guess you should say making strides uh, within the ecosystem. And lastly, we have some updates from the Arbitrum, uh, Arbitrum Foundation talking about uh, some updates for, uh, from proposals and temperature checks happening within the Arbitrum DAO. So the first thing um, is, number one is the experimental incentive system for active Arbitrum DAO delegates. This proposal aims to reward the top 50 active delegates over six months with 1.5 million ARB. The DAO has voted to support this experiment using Karma HQ, which automates the calculation of, here we go, calculation of delegate scores. Uh, so this one is just pretty much saying, hey, like we're experimenting with some sort of incentive system to pretty much uh, give back to active uh, delegates within the Arbitrum DAO, uh, which I think is definitely interesting for sure. Um, the second one is to establish the Arbitrum Research and Development Collective. Uh, this proposal aims to fund the ARDC for six months with either 880k ARB, 1.3 million ARB, or 1.7 million ARB, or of course to not fund it at all. And the roles of the ARDC include to review and enhance uh, governance proposals, conduct code reviews for security, provide quantitative analysis for uh, economic risk, and foster active delegate engagement. Uh, and the, R the RDC will provide valuable tools and reports for proposal authors, helping them refine their ideas and make better informed decisions. The RDC will consist of a research member, a security member, a risk member, and a DAO advocate. And of course, the DAO will, will uh, elect all roles. Um, I think both of these uh, different proposals are really cool. And just as a 
clear reminder, this isn't the foundation proposing these. This is actually people from the community proposing these um, different, different things to the DAO. Uh, just a small reminder, the Arbitrum DAO is completely on-chain. The foundation doesn't have any kind of control over it. Uh, this is completely run by the community and people who hold ARB. So definitely exciting to see the, them experimenting with incentives for, for delegates, as well as a research and development collective. Um, this especially, I think, is going to be really, really important. I do hope this passes personally, just because like I think the more mind share you have from the community on technical things, as well as just helping the onboarding process for uh, delegates, proposals, etc., making the process easier for the public, um, it's just going to you know nurture a more inclusive community within the DAO. Uh, the DAOs, generally speaking, it's really hard to get mind share, I think, especially in a, in a in a world where you know your your mind is always thinking about a hundred different things. Like, why would someone care about participating in the DAO or being in part of the DAO? Um, so, I think that will actually kind of help um, bring people who are interested uh, in more and closer to the DAO itself. So, that being said, um, definitely feel free to take it to take a look at any of these things. I'll, like I said, I'll always uh, put the links for all these uh, different tweets down in the description so you can take take a closer look. And of course, we'll end off today as usual with a little shill of Beneath the Layers podcast that your boy uh, currently hosts. Um, I actually just put out a tweet today uh, where you know, I speak with Jill, and she's kind of talking about you know how Ethereum is currently living in every L1's future and how um, Arbitrum essentially is also living in every L2's future. Um, pretty interesting stuff. I'll try to put out clips here and there just so you guys can take a look, take a peek if you don't want to watch the whole thing. But that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching as usual, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.